Look at that. I would call the pirate clapping. After four hours of driving, we've made it. Now it's time to unload the canoes, which is gonna be a chore because we're packed for a weekend of comfort. No lightweight stuff going on this weekend. Howdy homies, we're on the water. It is hot and humid. There are thunderstorms predicted all throughout the weekend. And the weather feels that way. It's hazy, humid clouds everywhere, but it's awesome. We're on Azacohos Lake, and we're gonna be camping out on Beaver Island. So we've got about a two and a half mile paddle to get to where we're going. We're gonna set up and we're gonna stay put and we're gonna enjoy ourselves until Monday. Got my buddy Dave out here with me, right over there. Yar! In the Winona Fusion. Barely warned be, says I. <laughs> Dave has never camped on an island before, so. We're clicking that off his bucket list this weekend. We've got a nice little tailwind, and we're cruising along. Digging it. I love this lake. Azacohos Lake is a man-made lake created by the damming of the Magalloway River in the early 1900s. The resulting impoundment is over 20 miles long, a mile and a half at its widest point, the surface area encompasses 6,700 acres with a maximum depth of 60 feet. This lake is magnificent. Made it. Bit windy, but we're here. have my hammock set up right here. We've got the community tarp all pitched just in case the rain comes. Pretty sweet setup. I don't mind saying so myself. This is my Perea Sanctuary Sill Tarp. 10 by 12. I've had this thing for years. It is awesome. Never let me down. Just like your mom. So, community tarp, hammock, and we got Dave set up right here. Yep. Look what oh. I found. Yeah. Wild strawberry. Mmm. Hopefully no one has peed on that. Well, the wind has really seemed to die down, and it's my opportunity. It's about 6.30 right now. And I'm out for a paddle. I'm gonna go around this island, do some fishing, and uh, enjoy myself. Out of all the times that I've been here, I've never seen the water this high. Not that I can recall. I've never had the opportunity to paddle in between this channel. It's always been landlocked, so I'm going for it. Well, I paddled all around this island, did a bunch of casting, 
did some trolling. Not even a bite. Is what it is. And it's a good time. It's a nice paddle. I'm glad the wind died down. And uh, I'm pleased with the evening. Now it's time to eat. I'm hungry. Trying the deep diver. I've got the satellite burner hooked up to the Jetboil Genesis. Been using the stove for years. I love this thing. I don't use it a lot, but when I do use it, I love it. Got some chaga here. I'm gonna toss in a little bit of that. Some of the most antioxidant rich stuff on the planet good stuff let that sit for a few minutes 10 10 minutes or so then i'll add my coffee to it Not skunked. Also not very interested. He's going back. We're gonna whip up a breakfast lunch. And the jet boil. We've got some eggs, some peppers, sausage, potatoes, cheese, beer, all kinds of stuff. potatoes fry up in that sausage grease. Yeah. 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 Drink of choice this weekend is Pat's Blue Ribbon. It's 4th of July weekend. Red, white, and blue. America in a can. Have a great weekend, folks. You had smell a vision on that camera because it's awesome. Eggs from our chickens, straight from the homestead. As a co-host scrambler. 
I can't take credit for that. Dave said it. <laughs> Look at that. Delicious. I would call pirate clamping. Well, it's raining, but it's not windy, so I figured it was a good chance to get out and paddle around. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> this is awesome. Try as I might, not even a bite. Cold, chilled, I'm hungry. Back to camp I go. What a time. I can see the smoke at camp. It's got a fire going. That's going to be nice. Nobody got to in the woods. Nobody. They're eating good in the woods. Good night, homies. Ice cold and absolutely delicious. was quite refreshing and I still have coffee the weatherman said today was going to be the worst day of the whole trip and once again wrong I don't trust your judgment for this trip I've been using my war bonnet setup I've got my war bonnet Eldorado hammock War Bonnet 40 degree Wookie underquilt. War Bonnet Superfly tarp. It's a nice setup. I like it a lot. Very comfortable. And now it's time to start tearing it down. It's the inevitable paddle back into reality.
nice relaxing morning at the campsite and then now we're making the paddle out of here in quite nice conditions i might add this whole trip i was actually kind of a little apprehensive about what today's paddle was going to be like getting out of here because this lake can be nasty gnarly and there was a 70 percent chance of thunder and lightning showers and rain it's supposed to get a lot of rain couldn't ask for better conditions all that apprehension for nothing <laughs> There are some pretty ominous clouds. That's really hot and humid. Good thunderstorm conditions, so it's still possible, but we lucked out. Cannot resist the temptation to fish these rocks. <laughs> you just never know. It's hot out here. My glasses are fogging up. Muggy, really muggy. I had a really good time. It was a lot of fun. A little bit different, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. Pretty sure Dave had a really good time. First camping trip on an island for Dave was a success. I was talking to Dave about it last night, and I'm figuring that this is my 21st day spent on this lake. I just love it. We're pretty much out of here now. Won't be long. Got about five more minutes on this beautiful lake. Got to pack up drive four hours home and holiday traffic worth it looks like we're leaving just in time too because the boat traffic is getting heavy I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching I appreciate your support Catch you on the next one.